Hello guys, what's up? Adrian here from Appsid. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, in this presentation, I will say a few words about uh, about a new product uh, released by us in, in Django framework. It's about uh, Django Atlantis Dark. It's a super, super nice and simple Django dashboard uh, coded on top of a dark team design. Uh, with basic modules, uh, as usual, with database, uh, ORM uh, deployment scripts. Also, the product is actively supported uh, via Discord, our official support channel. Uh, let's take a look at the UI and at the live deployment. We can access uh, the live uh, application by clicking on the demo, demo link. Uh, this is uh, this is the UI. It's super super nice. Uh, has a lot of pages, uh, widgets, charts. Also are looking super super nice. There, there is a pie chart, bar chart, donuts, and uh, all sort of charts. So you have plenty plenty of options to to use. The UI can be also um, configured to to change the colors. This is super cool. Okay, uh, now back to the to the product. Uh, in order to use it, in case you you like the UI, uh, in order to use it, you don't need an account on our platform. You just need to to go to GitHub and. Um, uh, follow the instructions uh, provided in the in the readme file. Um, uh, to build the product, you need a Python environment, and also uh, you need a uh, JIT uh, command line to to clone the source code. In case you don't have the JIT install, you just need to access the page and download the sources using this menu. How to build the product is super super easy. After we clone the, the source code, we need to build a virtual environment to isolate the, the app dependencies across your environment to avoid um, conflicts with uh, other other application installed in your environment. Uh, once the um, virtual environment is is uh, created and activated. Uh, make sure you are using the proper commands for your target operating system. This these commands are for Unix Unix based, including um, Mac, and uh, these commands are for Windows based systems. Once the um, virtual environment is is activated, we need to install the modules, and after that, uh, create a database using main migrations and migrate commands. Uh, if all goes well without errors or something, uh, we can start application and uh, see see the application running in the browser. The application uh, can be started using the run server command. Um, uh, please be aware of the fact that uh, the application is not provided with uh, default users. So uh, after you start application, you need to to create new user using the uh, the registration page so go here and create your user we have already a user so I will not do that for the moment I will use the, the default credentials here to authenticate and to access the private pages provided by the by the app okay um, in case you you find issues or something is not good don't don't hesitate to uh, contact us on the, on discord uh, we have a 24/7 live service so in case you don't know how to start it, you don't know how to use it or something is, is wrong, just click on this button and you'll redirect it to our Discord uh, support server. 
um, the application is super is super simple has a simple code base uh, can be extended easily to any kind of dashboards you want to implement um, also the application is provided with some deployment scripts for docker for unicorn which are um, heavily used in in production um, for other starters just to access the platform we have plenty of starters here Django dashboards a lot a lot of uh, starters here from many many vendors um, also we have some discount section from the accessible from the home page in case you want to use a commercial product and to have something more UI with more components and other with more pages just to to have a, a fast deployment of your commercial product. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, uh, let me know if you have any any issues by uh, drop a message in the, in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next video. Bye.